Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising again where today I'm actually going to be talking about portable hydrogen machines because I've been getting a lot of emails about it but I had to do a lot of research because there's so many confusing things in regards to portable machines. I had a really hard time believing that some of these machines for the price that they sell them are claiming to make the hydrogen water just like the Lourdes and in the end I'm sorry to burst everybody's bubble but it's not true. I actually have access now, and this is really exciting, to some of the scientists in Nagoya, in Japan, the guys who are actually working on all these hydrogen projects, the scientists, the guys who understand the machines, and I was able to learn so much, and I'm really excited to share with you guys today because I'm just here to ultimately give you the truth. That's really what I'm here about. I'm not trying to sway anybody in certain directions. I just want to give you the truth and the knowledge of what I have found so that you guys can make up your own mind. So what I learned was this, if you're looking for a good hydrogen machine, this is one thing you're going to want to know. If any machine makes the hydrogen water, for example, immediately, it's already no good. And the reason is, let me give you an example, I, I have to take a lot of notes, there's so much information. So let's just take the Kangen for example, it gets the water right away. Well the Kangen machine, when you do go through the electrolysis process, it has to have a chemical. It puts a chemical called calcium lactate. This chemical enhances the electrolysis process by 1,000 times. The problem is, is that it's bad for you. And it also is bad for your skin, and it also becomes uh, not good calcium in the water. So ultimately, it's not good. If you ever look at the Lourdes, for example, if you look at the instructions, it says do not use electrolyzed water in this unit and it's because of this chemical that is in it actually I didn't I never knew why now I learned why do not use it just use mineral water in the in the reservoir part and use a water that's between 150 to a maximum of 350 TDS the amount of minerals in it all right now let's talk about these portable hydrogen machines unfortunately they're no good um, from what I'm understanding now, especially if they're made in China, because uh, the metals are very, very bad quality and they're going to leach in your water and you're going to be consuming this stuff. You're doing it for your health, which is what really breaks my heart because you're doing it for your health, you're spending the money, and in the end it's not good for you. It's, it, it's terrible. So one of the things that I also learned about these type of devices is even though they claim, for example, to work like the Lourdes where they're separating the oxygen from the hydrogen, it, they can't do it with a portable device. I actually spoke to the head of a company in Japan. They've been trying to develop one and they can't. It's just, as far as they can tell right now, it's impossible for them to do so. This is why the Lourdes has two chambers. You can't have the two chambers on these portable devices. Apparently it just doesn't work. At least for the time being, they haven't come up with it. And some of the things that are being released in the water in these particular portable devices. So when they measure the hydrogen, yeah, it looks like they're measuring a certain amount of hydrogen, but it's not pure clean hydrogen because it is leaching other things into the water. They say that you're not getting any ozone or any oxygen in there, but you are. And also it releases two other type of ions, one called a lactate ion, I believe, and the other one called a nitrate ion, I believe. I believe these are the names. We were having trouble with some of the translation because this is from Japan again. And these ions, they believe are not good for your health and they're unsafe, but they're, there's no science yet. So I gotta, I gotta give it that. There's no science to support that it's not good for you, but they, they believe that it's not at this time. Um, but the verdict is, is still out on that. So I'll, I'll always keep you guys up to date as soon as they know. But in the end, you don't get the pure, clean, therapeutic grade, like medical grade hydrogen. Uh, the company actually let me know, well actually it was a university, some of the scientists at this university who work with another company who are up to date on all this hydrogen stuff and they actually said that so far really the best way is the Lourdes again because even when you inject gas for example in the water it leaves so quickly, it literally leaves, they were giving me the numbers of like 40% of the hydrogen is gone in like 10 seconds and it's really hard to contain, it's not stable, it doesn't have those little tiny nano bubbles that's, and that are structured a certain way, again like the Lourdes does, see they actually you know were telling me about the Lourdes and I'm like that's always what I've understood and seen that has seems to be the safest way to make hydrogen and they said it really is and so they're really looking to develop that same type of technology and the way that the Lourdes makes it. It may look like a bad thing the fact that it takes the Lourdes 30 minutes to fully put in the hydrogen in the 
pitcher, but apparently that's a good thing um, because it's not trying to accelerate the process through a chemical process, for example, like the uh, Kangen and I believe other units like the Echo and, and just any unit, they, they told me, they said any unit that makes the water immediately is no good. So that's a real easy way to tell, you know, if, if you're looking at a good unit or not unit. That's going to save me a lot of time because I get so many emails of people are saying, can you research this unit? Can you research that unit? There's one particular unit also, I think it's called a SUSO, somebody messaged me about. And they were telling me, oh, they claim that they made this first hydrogen unit. Just to put it out there, it's not true. Um, Lourdes was actually the first one um, to make hydrogen this way. SUSO tried to copy them. And from what I'm understanding, eventually there's going to be a lawsuit over it. But Lourdes was the original and, you know, again, as I stated in some of my other videos, just make sure to get them from a reliable source because there are black market ones out there now and, and you don't want to go that route. All right, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, this is interesting. When you're measuring for hydrogen, so this is why it gets tricky because some of these like portable devices, they measure the hydrogen and they're saying, look, it's got so much hydrogen. Yes, but it's not showing you the amount of ozone or oxygen in there. Some people may say, oh, well, ozone is good for you. And you know, there are studies that show that oxygen or ozone water is good for you, but you really are gonna wanna understand the proper levels, just like you do with hydrogen. You have to understand the proper levels. They're gonna give you the therapeutic uh, usage of that type of water so that's important and if you're trying to make pure hydrogen water which is really how you're gonna get those pure benefits you don't want to mix with anything you don't want these other ions you don't want um, the ozone floating around in there there's a reason that Lourdes does it the way that it does it and I've seen it work with people and I've also known people who've had Kangen units that never really got the results there was an initial response I think personally they're very psychological or there was a you know small response and then it kind of tinkered off. That's kind of what I've seen. So I believe that's all the information I have for you guys today. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that, that's about it. So I just really wanted to put this information out there. When I got this information uh, yesterday directly from Japan, I was, I was really excited because I've been wanting to know this information so badly. And I was even looking at some of the portable units saying, hey, I've actually had companies contacting me. They're like, hey, can you promote this product? Can you promote this product? And I'm like, look, I'm not gonna promote something unless I know it really, really well. And I gotta know that it's good for people because I don't wanna be saying that something is good for people when it's not, you know, because then I feel like it's on me. So I wanna just, that's the reason that I'm, people always like, why are you always talking about the Lord? Is because it's the only one that seems to make the really good type of hydrogen for in-home use. And then the problem really does become, how do you take it with you? And I mean, I've done the video before about the hydrogen pouch. The hydrogen pouch is the only way that you can really carry the water around with you. And when you put Lourdes water in it, compared to water from, let's just say a Kangen unit, for example, it will last longer if it's Lourdes water. That's another trick when you're looking at other units, by the way, check to see how long the hydrogen stays in there. Most companies will never tell you because it leaves too fast because it's made improperly. But the Lourdes gives some numbers. They, I mean, they say something like 80 or 90% of the hydrogen for 12 hours. Though you have to see how they're doing it because there's factors such as the movement of the water, how much air the water is exposed to, the temperature of the water. I mean, there's certain factors and I could tell you how they came up with that number. But in the end, I won't go into all that unless you guys really want me to and I'll make another video about it. But in the end, hydrogen will never stay in water as long as it does with the Lourdes. I haven't seen anything yet to this to this point. And then when you use the hydrogen pouch, it's really the best way for to be able to take the hydrogen water with you. Now, if you're traveling, then it's going to be tough, you know, because then I just recommend you take the Lourdes with you. And I've done that when I traveled and, and then I use it wherever I go. So I really hope this helps answer a lot of questions for everybody who's sending me all these messages out there. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'm really sorry for anybody who, you know, who's been using these type of units. I hate to burst anybody's bubble or get, you know, be the bearer of bad news, but I had to bring the truth. I had to bring the information that I got and I was excited to get the truth. And so anyway, I hope you guys appreciated it as much as I did. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.